Oh, the old 7.3. Some people love it. Some people that have bad taste hate it. But look at that, 12 out key's not gonna work, people. There we go, Ford key. Ford key for the Ford truck. Man, I, I do love driving this truck. I really do. It's something special. I know there's other things you could do to it, but I just love the way that it's set up. It's practical, it's simple, but it's super cool factor. It's just, I don't know. I just love it. It's just super cool. So anyways, guys, what is up? Hopefully, guys, are all doing absolutely fantastic. We've got a couple things to do today. It's gonna be more of like a vlog style. We're gonna be dropping the truck off our tent. I gotta go run by our house that we're moving out of and finish up a couple more things. We gotta run by the barn. I gotta get hay for the horses. Just a lot going on. So hopefully, guys, can enjoy the ride and stay tuned lots happening and it doesn't help that it's a rainy day for all this outdoor activity that I got to do but we're gonna make the most of it and make it happen you can hear the fuel system cycling fuel filter in these trucks is right up under the dash basically at the back of the engine should be just about done even though the wait to start light goes out I always and dad always did this he waited until he heard the fuel system stop cycling just like that and it's done <laughs> truck just starts way faster way better especially like it is today like when it's only like 30 degrees out 31 it just is way way easier on the truck starting when you actually let the fuel system fully prime up well part one of today's mission it was to get this trailer of roughly I don't know 3,000 pounds of firewood over to another property because I need to unload it off the trailer that way I can use the trailer to do a couple other projects this is pretty much gonna be today hauling stuff around to 7-3 anyways I do have have some questions people ask me regarding what kind of power is the truck making what's it got in terms of tuning it's got a BD tuner on it I'm not exactly sure what all the settings are on this one and what all the options are um, but the truck runs really good it runs really rich it's not it doesn't run super doggish slow like a uh, super bone stock 7.3s do obviously this one stock other than like intakes and maybe slightly bigger injectors and that tuner but other than that it hasn't been hot rotted out which I actually prefer when it comes to these trucks. But anyway, so it, it does run good, has plenty of power, especially for like the day-to-day -day towing and stuff like that, like that most people are gonna do. Plenty of power, truck's more than capable. So we're gonna get to the property here and unload this first trailer and uh, on to the next one. Okay, so we just unloaded this wood pile and I'll show you the size of the wood pile here soon. But this is crazy. So I pulled the truck back here. Dad said he wanted the wood stored back here. So I was trying to store the wood back here, but if you look here, we got a little bit of a swamp. We got mud soup. This is as far as I'm gonna go because it's gonna get muddy. So mud soup. This is all in two wheel drive trying to turn that trailer around, but with that trailer and all that weight on it, it was a no go guys. It was not gonna work. All the weight on the trailer with all that wood, two wheel drive. I could have put it in four, but I didn't. But you can see how much the mud flicks up when it does flick. It stays pretty much just hardly outside the wheel well. But uh, here's the pile of wood, it's a pretty, pretty big pile. You can see the trailer. It's only a 10 foot trailer, but it was, it was packed pretty tight. It's a lot more than it looks like. I mean, it's a heavy pile of wood. I'm feeling it in my back right now. So anyways, guys, on to the next project. We gotta get over to Reagan and I's previous home, not our new home, but our previous home, and uh, try to get that zero turn started up. Okay, so we got the mower loaded up, as you can see back there. This is actually a pretty fun little project. So I thought the battery was dead on it. It's been sitting outside for the past two months, three months, and I thought the battery's dead. So I put on a trickle charger, I left it over there for actually a day and a half came back same thing just a click 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 and I know there's probably somebody that's gonna know what the problem is but I don't know what the problem is and I'm actually gonna be passing I was gonna actually take it to my parents barn and set it in their barn temporarily while we're in the moving process but I'm actually just gonna take it straight to the dealer I bought it from and drop it off they said yeah no problem pretty open right now so I'm just gonna drop it off to them but this trailer thank goodness it had a tilt mechanism on it mine doesn't but I have a ramp but my dad's has a tilt mechanism so you can just un undo a pin trailer tilts back then you can load stuff up but I had to tilt it back and I had two big 10,000 pound rated ratchet straps and I cranked one all the way up had on two different back corners of the mower cranked one all the way up until it would come up as far as it could the other one and crank it all the way up take the other one crank it all the way up until I could finally get it all the way up on the trailer it took about 25 minutes but it's loaded up now we're gonna go drop this off and then I have to go load up hay for our horses yes we have horses if you haven't known that yet um, it's been a little while since we've mentioned them really in the videos but at least on my channel but another problem is there's a lot of mud and rain and water and that's back at the property where that mud pit was I'm hoping that I can get this hay without getting a tractor stuck so we'll see we'll get you guys back over there in a bit 
little change of plans here, so the mower, I was actually gonna drop it off at a shop because I had to ratchet it onto the trailer. I'm like, I'm just gonna drop it out, off at the shop instead of having to ratchet it onto the trailer again and take it later. However, I took it to the shop and they literally had the mower fixed within about 15 minutes while it was on the trailer so that I didn't even have to drop it off there and I could just keep on going about my way. So awesome work over there. And also we're gonna get this thing unloaded real quick. Try not to get too wet and then we gotta load up a hay bale. And if you're asking why am I doing this in the rain? Well, to answer that question, tomorrow we're supposed to get six to eight inches of snow. So I'm gonna do the towing right now versus tomorrow because regardless of when I do it, the bale is gonna get a little bit wet and it's gonna be a little bit not fun. So might as well do it now. Now for the Kubota. Kubota needs to be started up. We've got all of our all of our house loaded up here on the trailer. No, that's not all. There's actually tons of it over there. There's even more in the back over there. I don't even know how we have that much stuff, if I'm being honest with you guys, because all I remember moving in was my clothes. And then somehow we ended up with a semi-load of stuff. So we're gonna let the old Kubota here warm up for a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna get to loading up a roughly 800 pound bale getting it thrown on the back of the truck. You just gotta love that kind of stuff when filming. I had the camera turned on to get the shot of me loading up the trailer and of course, the camera wasn't on, so that sucks. I gotta tell you, the 7.3 has been quite the workhorse today. Been super busy and this truck's been a huge help. So I'm gonna get this unstrapped. I'm actually gonna set my camera up not in the rain and we're gonna get this unloaded here in just a second, throw it on back behind the barn. Well, hay is all unloaded. We're all good to go. I gotta start with the big blue beast though. Haven't sold the truck yet. Um, I did drop the price on it a little bit more. However, I'm, I don't know. If it doesn't, okay, if it doesn't sell in the next week, I'm just gonna keep it, build it and do something else with it because I hate selling stuff anyways. I just don't like dealing with people. But everybody I've been that's been messaging me has been more like, you know, hey, I just wanna come check it out and stuff like that and not like, hey, I wanna come buy it. That's one of the problems I've been having with trying to sell vehicles anymore, so. I don't know. Well, it's done cycling. It runs good though, guys. I mean, it runs good, drives good, sounds good. It's a great truck. Price has dropped down to 34,000 with the 20 by 12s on it. So if you're interested, send me a message on Instagram or like comment under one of my posts and say, hey, I'm interested in the truck. Seriously, I'm in the Northeast Indiana area. So if you're like from Texas or California, like, hey, can you deliver the truck? No, I'm not gonna deliver the truck because for 34,000, I'm sure you can find something out there. But what I'm saying is, not to mention this truck probably wouldn't pass out in California. I can almost guarantee you that. And anyways, guys, if somebody's interested, hit me up. If not, one more week, and then I'm just gonna build it and do something else with it. I am actually going to be leaving here in a minute. I've got to drop this truck off for some tent work because I've got to get back, finish installing a pusher intake kit for my dad's 2013 Power Stroke. It would be super cool. I don't know if they make a kit for one of the 7.3s or not. I'm sure they make something. I'm just not sure what that would be because it would be really nice to get something out of the hood of this truck to kind of dress it up. I'm kind of thinking something red to match the little bit of red accents on the emblems like on the badges on the side of the truck, maybe a little bit of red that ties into like the brake calipers. But I don't know, let me know down in the comment section below, would you guys like to see that, yes or no? Hola, Reagan. Okay, so we got the wife picked up because Reagan here is gonna help me drive a truck <laughs> to get the tent done, right? Yep. You excited to drive the 7.3 for the first time? She's never driven this 7.3. No. <laughs> Just kidding. You're not excited? Why wouldn't you be excited? I don't know. I don't understand why she does. She has like this hate for Fords and I don't even know why. I mean, I know it's like the stereotypical thing that if you're a truck person and you're not a Ford person, you're just supposed to hate Fords if you can't afford to keep up with the maintenance on one of them. Right. 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 Okay. Um, no, but we're gonna go and we gotta drive two trucks to drop this thing off our tent. We're gonna actually pick up Big Blue back here. I got it started up a couple minutes ago. You guys saw that. And then we're going to be taking the 7.3 up and dropping it off for tent work. And then this thing will be actually pretty well buttoned up and I'm gonna be pretty satisfied with how it turns out after the tip. Well everybody, we're out here with the 6.7 Power Stroke. I do wanna let you guys know that we are wrapping it up for today. We did drop the 7.3 off for tint. I think they're gonna do a 15% all around plus a 15% brow. So it's gonna look really good and that's pretty much the last cosmetic upgrade that we're gonna be doing to that truck. So that's gonna to top it all off. Which by the way, if you wanna to enter to win that truck, every $5 will get you 10 entries to win that truck. But that ends on March 1st, which if you haven't checked your calendar, that's only in a couple days. So if you wanna get 10X entries, 
That is only for this first period until March 1st and then it's done. And also, the giveaway itself ends March 18th, which is not much time. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, there's not a lot of time, but if you wanna get 10X entries, there's really not much time. Go to the store, grab anything off the site, check out, and your entries automatically get submitted with the name, phone number, and email you use to place the order and get 10X entries for the first few days only. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. Information is in the description below. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.